Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I tell you what, we are freaking growing out of control. We are almost at 700 subscribers. We're getting all kinds of new subscribers around here. So, hello. I am so glad to have you. Welcome aboard. I mean, everybody, you know, there's no greater or equal. Everybody is the same here. You know, this is our fishing facility. You are at the state-of-the-art fishing facility. If you like tackle unboxings, we got that. If you like on the water fishing content, we got that. One thing I try to do here on this channel is show you some very close up, you know, to see all the curves and crevices of these baits, you know what I mean? To get the nice Coca-Cola bottle shapes of these baits, you know, we're checking out their hips, their lips, we're checking it all out. So if you want some very up close and personal content, you know what I mean? This is like uh, only fans for the baits, you know what I mean? So welcome board. We're going to get into today's video. Today's video is the monster bass lunker hunt takeover is it any good you know i like the lunker hunt i know a lot of people don't like lunker hunt but it depends on what kind of fisherman you are I me mean, i like to have fun with it i like to have some real serious high-end baits and i also like to fish with very cheap baits and have fun you know catching a bass on the spider or something like that um i know lunker hunt's known to be a little gimmicky and stuff like that but i do think that they are kind of you know, they they, they kind of got two spectrums. They got the real gimmicky spectrum, but then they do also have, like, you know, where there are more serious baits come in at. Like, they've been coming out with some very nice soft plastics. Maybe we'll have some of that in here. I don't know. I don't know what's in here. Been waiting to open it with you guys, so let's get to it and check it out. Hey! -cha! If you're curious... This here is a Kershaw, and I gotta be careful, can I show you my address? Let's get up in here, the Monster Bass. You know what, before we even get in here, right? Because I did pull these aside. Hold on, let me go grab them, I got them right here. Just wanna show some of the new stuff that Lunker Hunt's got out there. We got the Ned Drone. I'm gonna do it real quick, I'm not even gonna talk about them. I'm gonna just show it real quick. And I'm hoping we get stuff like this in the box. Because this is some new stuff. And I think it's really cool. I think Lunker Hunt is trying to take things a little serious and have some serious stuff. A lot of companies kind of revamped themselves. Savage Gear did that. Savage Gear has been coming out with some really good stuff. And all this stuff is super stretchy. Their whole Hive series. Pretty great little series they got. Can't wait to dive into these a little bit more. You know, the weather's just been pretty crappy. So, look at this thing, like a tube. Have not showed you guys this yet, but this will be in, uh, I don't think I showed you it yet. The, uh, Typhoon. I think I might have shown you the Typhoon. The Typhoon's what took out the Ark. And then we got the Versafish. These are baits that I picked up myself at my Dick's Boarding Goods. And, I mean... Really good, good looking baits right here. Now let's see what we got for the monster bass. They usually do really good with their lunker hunt takeover. Let me get comfortable and situated. All right, we are feeling good. We are looking good. All right, New Year's new baits. We'll check that out later. I don't want to ruin. Oh boy, cannot show you guys yet. All right, this is a pretty cool one here. The Lunker Hunt Swim Bento. Now, this is one bait that I have actually never fished myself. I always seen them at Walmart. They're like eight bucks a pack, and I just never got them, you know? But this is cool, because I, I will try, and it probably will turn out to be pretty good. How many, let's see how many get in the pack here. Put them all out. One, two, three, four, five. Five of these bad Larrys. Really reflective. I mean, that's what the bait fish look like. If you ever see them swim and then they go to their side, they give off that sheen. I think that sheen right there is what draws them in. You know, they know it is dinner time. But pretty cool. We got a little, like, reinforced piece of rubber here to keep the tail nice and good. Probably, I can guarantee you this thing probably has, like, a weird swim waggle. But cool, I like it. Feels pretty tough. There is like a piece of foil in there. It's not crinkly. What is in there? Well, we won't be able to find out, but it looks really good. I like that. That's pretty cool. Alright, so far, so good. Can never go wrong with swim baits. 
Swim baits or fish catching baits for sure. Throw them babies out. I mean, you cannot really fish them wrong. Swim bait you just throw out there and you reel it back in. And I never put my baits away like that. I'll fix that after the video. Next. Now this came out in ICAST 2020 or 21. So pretty cool. I always wanted to try the frog. I'm not a big fan of these pre-rig kits. I know they sell like the pre-rigged kits, but if you just like their soft plastics, you can just buy the soft plastic bodies and you get more. You get like six to eight in a pack. But since they add this weight here, this um, Ned hook, you know, they, they skimp out on the bodies. But this is the Lunker Hunt Finesse Frog, quarter ounce, three inch bait. Now I think this is pretty cool. I think this is definitely like... Uh, Something that may be missing there. You don't ever really see a Ned Frog. So that's really cool. If you ever, like, I'm sure as a kid playing by the creeks or even as an adult, if you catch a frog and you throw it in the water, the first thing the frog does when you throw it in the water is he dives right down to the bottom and he'll just sit there, down there for a while, if he's not already swimming off. But that's usually what they do. But definitely a nice frog profile. I have a little tank. We'll have to try have to try some of these suckers out to see how good they float, but they they're supposed to float. Pretty cool. Uh, I would definitely fish this. I actually almost bought this, so I'm not mad at it, you know. Alright. That's what we got so far, the bentos and the frogs. And then we got another uh, pre-rig kit, which, uh, alright, this is the finesse crawl. I mean, definitely better than their finesse worm thing, you know, because I, Monster Bass, I felt like I got, like all these packs that I own of the little pre-rig things, I feel like most of them came from Monster Bass, but this one has uh, three bodies, one comes with the hook, but I'm just showing you the body here, definitely a nice looking crawl. You could definitely throw this on a jig. You know, use it as a chunk. That would look really good if you don't want to fish it as a net. But that is a nice looking crawl right there. So we got that. Two pre-rigs. Let me just put this back now. I never get these things in right. All right. get this dude out right here we got the battle beetle joint wiggle action side to side rattle feather travels float in one and a half feet deep i actually have the battle beetle it is in like a black and purple and the action's actually pretty good on it i mean it is exactly what they what you would expect it to be it does actually go back and forth like that that is it you got two hooks in the back here each hook has some feathers on it and the lunker hunt hooks are pretty sharp they're not i never really had a problem with their hooks anytime i had one or baits i never really had a need to change the hooks out but i don't know are you into the battle beetle I mean, I don't know. Do you want to throw this in your tackle box and take up that much room with the Battle Beetle? I like it. I think it's cool. You know? Is there better top waters? Of course. Definitely. You know, that's the problem. You know, most people probably rather fish a uh, Whopper Plopper or a uh, Prop 8. You know what I mean? But it's just something different. A little Battle Beetle. And then we get the Lunker Hunt Crush, the Impact Series Popper. This color is called Lily Pad. It is a one and three ounce bait, two and a half inches. It's a top water, so it's going to say zero. And let's check it out. Check out these colors. I like the color. I think it's a nice looking color. Yeah, each uh, each hook is sharp on here. There's not like one that's dull or inconsistent. 
What else we got? We got the Impact Series Reactor. So they came out with the Impact lineup. Um, now these have been out for a little while now. I don't think these are anything too new. But it may be one of their newer hard bait lineups. But you can see they kind of share some similarities. You can see we got the little uh, lines on the bottom. Same thing here. Then the scale patterns, the same one here. Same eye, same gill plate. So. I forgot to mention, this doesn't have a really deep lip. And sometimes you get a popper that doesn't really spit too good. And then you're like, oh, it's trash. But before you, uh, you know, stop fishing and see if it's very good at walking. Some poppers will walk really good and that right there could be very effective so if you don't think this spits good see if it walks good and if it doesn't then just fish a popper you like you know but what is this color what do we got here this one is silver side it is a half ounce sinking two and a half inches tight wobble nice colors So it has like a multi-rattle here. It has a deeper thud. And oh, what do we got? Some glass or plastic rattles in there. Four of them. And then we got this way here. You could hear it. I've never fished this. Now I, I have a lunker hunt popper. It's an older one and I have an older lipless that I fish. And both of them, you know, worked fine. Don't know about the impact series. And the last bait we got is a Reckless Roach. Yeah, well, for this being the last bait, I gotta say, I thought it could be better, man. Uh, you know, they put the two Neds in there. I would have liked to see the Hive series, like, throw in some more of their series baits. You know, throw in the baits that people can't say are uh, gimmicks, you know. But that's pretty cool looking. I do like the uh, the material that they have. It They do, like, even with their frogs, their material feels really nice. Even though I suck at frog fishing. Pretty much, I'll throw a frog on, and maybe I just need to give it more time. I just switch out and throw on, like, a, a buzz bait or something. And then I end up catching a fish and think to myself, why do I even need a frog? And look at that. Uh, nice colors. Um, yeah, the hooks are faced up, so that's good, because I was just thinking, like, how good will it collapse, but it seems like as soon as they bite it, I mean, I could feel it on my fingers, it really grips, so, as soon as they put their mouth on it, you could, let me see if we could get it to focus, I mean, it does grip, it's rubbing along my finger, scratching it, all in all, I mean, I would have liked to see some of the Lunker Hunt Hive series in there for sure. Especially since uh, I caught a piece of uh, the Monster Bass Live and uh, Rick was actually saying that Lunker Hunt is one of his favorites to work with because the people over at Lunker Hunt are really great, very easy to work with. And, you know, so that's always good to have a good relationship. But you would think, like, hey, man, you know, can we get some of that new stuff? But. That brings me to my next point. Um, now, these boxes now are no longer by region that you live in. They're, they are all a Technique Pacific box. So every month, everybody gets the same box. And I usually get my boxes later in the month. So by the time I show my box, you've already seen this. And chances are, you may not even watch this video because you've already seen like five other videos of the same thing. So that's my thought. Uh, do you guys, are you even interested in seeing the Monster Bass stuff on my channel anymore? Because I know Rick will do the unboxing like the very first week of every month and already show you the bait. So he's like the grand opening of what you're going to get that month. So that's one way to see it there already. And, uh, you know, I just don't want to keep regurgitating, making the same videos everybody else is making. So let me know. Should we move away from Monster Bass and get our own baits or do you like to see my input on the box of the monster bass stuff 
Well, that's going to wrap it up. I'm not going to make the video too long, but just wanted to show you some of the stuff we got. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. And again, thank you to all new subscribers. Next, we got uh, either Six Cents we're going to do, or we got a nice, big, juicy Tackle Warehouse box that I still got to get to. So that's what I'm going to do this weekend. We're going to get some more content going and get this thing freaking going. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time. Peace out.